Hello, everyone. Uh, we're back this week for a, uh, another week update on the market and what it's doing for April the 7th for the previous week. Uh, we continue to worry about the health and economic effects of this current pandemic, uh, but we're doing our best to stay positive and productive. We're mostly working from home, and we can, but we can show houses. We just have to follow uh, strict safety precautions outlines. But other than that, uh, we stay at home and do virtual meetings. And we've actually learned to uh, appreciate that as a cool way to connect with people. It's the new uh, norm. Um, and we're actually beginning to develop a stay at home routine, a work routine, uh, and that's working out good. We always end our day uh, at five o'clock. That's happy hour time. Um, also, we're learning to do new things. And the thing that I learned to do last week was to color my own hair, okay? Which was exciting and it was a, a, a relief that it turned out well. Now I have to figure out how to cut Craig's hair, okay? Yeah, go ahead, uh, a bowl and a set of scissors. Um, so this is what we're seeing up there. Um, the inventory of homes for sale is a little higher than it was last week, but still less than half as many uh, as it was last year at this time. Uh, there's also been a uh, slight increase in the number of sales that have fallen out of escrow. Uh, lenders are now looking at job security uh, as of one of the qualifying conditions. And unfortunately, the current economy is having ripple effects on the job uh, security for many of us. Um, however, there's still a large amount of successful escrow closings. Uh, buyers still wanna buy, sellers still wanna sell. So if you're considering selling, it's an interesting time uh, because you're not gonna have to be doing as much of the hassle part of selling your house. And because there are so few houses on the market for sale relative to what's normal for this time of year, there uh, is a lot less competition and uh, 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 strong chance of getting your house, house sold. If you're thinking about buying a house, it's kind of interesting. Most There's a lot of buyers that are on the sidelines right now, but with these great interest rates, you know that as soon as things settle down a little bit in the economy and the, the pandemic, all those people are going to be jumping into the marketplace, and that could create a competitive, almost a multiple offer scenario. Uh, so if you want, if you're strong and you're, uh, you're, you're, um, if you want to buy and your job security is good, it could be a good time to get out and uh, look at some different things. <clears throat> so here's some stats uh, as far as what's going on since we did this last week. Uh, in the last seven days, there's been 57 new homes on the market for sale. Uh, and this is just talking about the Santa Clarita Valley. As compared to last uh, week, that number was 48. And two weeks ago, that uh, seven-day uh, number of new houses on the market over the last seven days uh, from two weeks ago was 41. So the um, uh, more properties are actually coming on the market for sale on a week-by-week -week basis. Uh, as far as the number of available properties that are currently for sale, there are 318 across the Santa Clarita Valley. Uh, which, I'm sorry, there are currently 360. Last week, there were 318, and we don't have the stats from two weeks ago just yet. Um, now, just as a comparison, in uh, April 1st of 2019, roughly a year ago, there were 778 active homes on the market for sale. Um, now, we have a few people that are taking their houses off the market for sale, but that number is going way down. Uh, so that's a much better, better number. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's, uh, as far as new sales and escrows, that's very, very important. There's been 35 new uh, home sales, new open escrows in the last uh, seven days. Last week, that number was 49. And two weeks ago, uh, that number was 61. So the number of new sales is slowing. Uh, which is kind of to be expected with what's going on in the economy right now. So um, I wanted to let you know that the uh, median price range is still $598,500 as, um, as of last month. And uh, let's see if there's any other stats. stats. The number of canceled escrows is a little higher this week. There were 21 canceled escrows in the last 70, seven days. Uh, and um, the prior week when we did this, that number was 13. So that really, I think, has to do with lenders being a little bit stricter on their guidance. So stay safe. Um, uh, hang in there. And if you have any questions or want to kind of talk about some planning or some ideas of how to, to operate in this current marketplace, uh, just reach out to us. We'll be happy to give you our thoughts and see if there's a plan that can work for you.